Will just uh, kind of assess how you thought you played and after that Oklahoma State game, you kind of a week to stew over that one a little bit, kind of get yourselves ready. Yeah, that left a bad taste from enough, and uh, we knew the was going to come out and be feisty, and uh, they're a gritty team, well coached, and uh, we had a good week of practice, and uh, we came out, and you know, Williams was hot early, well, often and late, but uh, it kind of opened things up for us, you know, on the inside, they couldn't really double anything, and you guys going a lot, and we just uh, closed it out. You know, that's uh, 14 consecutive double figure games for you. Do you just continue to grow and grow confidence wise? Yeah, I mean, it's a confidence thing, but also I just I want to be consistent. You know, some like my 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 gauge is not scoring the ball, it's rebounding. I haven't done a great job rebounding, but you know, my effort's going to be there every single night. I'm never going to waver as far as uh, in battle down low, but I guess it's just my team that's going to the ball. <coughs> Kyle, can I talk about your night? Uh, what, what pleased you more, the points or the rebounds? The way. It was winning. I don't really care less about you know, how many points and stuff I had. But we're seven and three now instead of six and four. That's the most important thing. What was the biggest the biggest thing this week in practice after the loss of Oklahoma State? Just uh, you know, keeping pride in our defense. You know, Oklahoma State's a talented team. They like to get out and run. Uh, but just our transition uh, defense. I thought we did a pretty good job. But, you know, even though Slew's not really a team that would get out and push it. <clears throat> and also, just just our overall defense. I thought we did a really good job in the first half. Kind of broke down late, but you know we got to do a better job of burying teams. But overall, just defense was our focus. The feast when they uh, pulled within six in the second half. What kind of turned it back your guys' way at that point? I think it was like defense intensity and energy. I mean, as soon as we score, we up in the ball. And you know, we figured like it's the end of the game. We got to close it out. We've been we've been here before. Close games. We'll, we'll talk about uh, Low and keeping him in check. Um, he's a uh, kind of European style big guy. He's a finesse big guy. He likes to shoot threes, and we uh, we wanted to close out hard, make him put on the floor. Um, he's got a pretty bright future ahead of him. He's very skilled, but uh, I think we did a decent job tonight. He got he got off there early in the second half, but overall we did all right on him. Adam, what do you guys learn from this tough non-conference schedule? It, it's almost over. It, as soon as the, the calendar flips over, we'll have. Valley games, but what did you guys learn from going and, and losing those big games? What did you guys learn? Uh, really to keep our heads up, you know, we're going to play a few more tough teams in our conference also. It's going to be a, a battle from one to nine, you know, all the way down, or you know, the whole conference. Uh, you know, taking these losses, three losses, right now we're seven and three, and, you know, we're not mad about it. You know, we take yeah. three losses like a man, and now we just got to move on and get ready for the conference. Yeah. <coughs> How do you think the schedule this year non-conference uh, has helped you prepare for the conference season, maybe even a little bit more than last year's non-conference? Definitely. Uh, you know, the, the couple BCS schools that we played, I thought were really physical, which is, you know, that's all Missouri Valley is. It's going to be physical, you know, day in and day out. But Tennessee was really physical, and so was Oklahoma State. And I think that that prepared us just getting our minds up for battle, day in and day out in the Valley. But, you know, St. Louis is pretty physical too, but uh, you know, this is really a good program. Well, you guys uh, have Arkansas State coming up. I've already beaten them. Uh, Christmas is getting ready to come up. Uh, is that a dangerous scenario possible? It is, but it's not. You know, we're not going to take them for granted. We're not going to, you know, have a bad back of practice. We're going to get in the gym and do the same thing, prepare the same way for uh, Arkansas State because you know, they gave us a good game down in Tennessee, and, uh, and we're going to hopefully take care of them, get a couple of days off, and come back ready for Missouri Valley Conference. Oh, it's unusual to see the not conference team twice in the same season. What do you do to prepare yourself mentally for this? Uh, throw out that first game. <clears throat> throw out that first game that was in Knoxville and, and just treat it like you know, it's the first time you're playing, first time you've ever seen them going through scouting report. But at the same time, knowing the personnel, the guy you guarded, you know, the last game. You know, just, just playing basketball, and I think we'll be all right. Nafis, it feels it looks to me like you're improving as a distributor here within this offense. What did you what have you learned, I guess basically these first ten games or so? Basically, I mean just run the team and everything and just do the little things, I mean, for our team to be successful. Keep driving and uh, penetrating uh, over the deep because we got a lot of shooters on the team and everything. Yeah. <clears throat> Time for a couple more for the players so we turn them free. Yeah. Can, can you guys just talk about Nafis's continued growth as a player and then his line tonight was pretty outstanding. He won't accept failure. He won't accept failure. Now, you know, we saw that in, at the beginning of the last year. You know, kind of a tough, tough time, which the transition from junior college to Division One. But you know, he, he's in the gym all the time. 
<clears throat> he's constantly watching film, so you know it's not really a surprise, but I'm, I'm really happy for him uh, with all the success that he's had up until this point this season. Do you feel like points are just a bonus for you and you're more known for uh, distributing the ball? I'm not really worried about points. At the end of the day, it's all about when we trying to, we got one goal in mind and when the uh, Missouri Valley is coming. Good. Yeah. Thank you for the back. All right, guys. Congratulations. Thanks. Appreciate it.